I would say it's probably one of my favourite traditional wet flies, and uh, but I'm going to tie it as I originally tied when I was when Can I first started. It's a Camasan. It's a B175 size. There's 12 in this case. 12s and 14s are the two sizes that I would normally fish. Thread. Just use a, a uni thread, 8 in black. Tie your thread on. Now, just to save a bit of time and bulk, I would always tie the way down and this here is just a normal red wool it's a basic red wool now there's three strands in this so suits so this size 12 now as I wind down I open the fibres out and then just keep it nice and tight to this point here and then just come underneath with a turn to lock it tail length no too long just like that just a tough more than anything now what I'm going to do is just brush it out with some velcro here to form the, the tail. The rib of the fly is just a flat silver tinsel. You could use an oval if you want, but it was always a flat tinsel I used. Body, dyed black seals for. Again, use what you have. And we can dub this on, nice and tight. Form a, to form a nice body anyway, so start off you can tighten it and don't worry too much if some of the red shows through it doesn't bother me uh, never did when I was fishing when I was younger so but we can tighten it up as we go forming a nice shape all the way up stop it round about say two mil from the eye I'll just tighten this up let's go back a wee bit I'm just going to tighten it up again as I say when you get here, there we are. Should be back Leave up. yourself, I say, a good space, a good couple of mil or so. Now, as I'm going to say that we're going to use hen hackles, and this is just a Chinese hen dyed black. Now, fibre length. It wasn't too fussy, the length. The main thing is to have the body hackle fibre length shorter, or sorry, it'll be shorter than the front hackle, the blue at the front, so. You want this fibre, if you measure up the stem to the, the shank of the body, that will give you the length of the, the hackle that you've got. Now, because I'm palming it, I'm tying it in at the butt section here. So, two or three turns, make sure. Wax your thread at this point, nice and tight. Now, because it's a short hackle, I'm going to be using my, my hackle pliers. Now, you want to turn at the top. Now you're only going to get three turns or so. <laughs> now don't worry. You'll always get that. It happens to me as well. There's your first turn again. There's your set first turn down the body, second. Coming into your third turn. And then just come round with your tinsel and work your way up. And then five turns or so. I'm just going to take this out of the way, keeping the tinsel always tight. Bring it up against thread, round the thread. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now there's wax on the thread, so it shouldn't slip on you. Now, what I'm going to do here is basically bend and break away the, the tinsel. Again, I'm going to wax the thread. Now, you could bring out some of the Seals fur through into the fibre if you want, just get some velcro or your dubbing needle. But just watch your thread, you don't catch your thread. Just draw it back. There we are. So, see, don't be too fussy with it. And then we get a, this is a dyed blue, it's a teal blue I'm using here. As I say, you want the fibre length to be longer than the body hackle, so just check it. There we are. You could tie this either way, and you tie it in by the tip. Normally you should tie hen hackles in by the tip, but it's up to yourself. When you're tying your own flies, you can tie them whatever way you like. Now there's a couple of turns to hold. Now when you fold this back, 
Give him the thread tight, just find the tip of the hackle that you just tied in. Sometimes you can't find it too well, but break it off. A wee bit of wax on my thread. And then we can fold these fibres back. And then, nice hackle on. One turn in front of the other, towards the eye. All the way down. If you're happy, cross your thread. Now, as I say, I put wax on the thread. A couple of turns, fold back the hackle. Now you can have the tiniest head in the world if you want at this point. You can paste it two or three turns. Now, save a wee bit of time as well. You could put a wee bit of varnish on the thread. And whip finish at the same time. So, saving a lot of bulk and time. There we are. Then we can trim away. Oh, trim away thread. Trim away our hackle. Now we can break that off if you want. Nice and tight. Just going to bring out these fibres. Now I like to kind of roll these fibres to draw them back natural. Now a fly will look always better once it's been fished. So I'm just going to draw back and roll it. Not sure. It was really. Mm -hmm.